I have been editing for the last eight years. I usually work with documentaries. Uh, I live between Mexico and Costa Rica, and I edit films in both countries. Um, now I'm based in Mexico. I'm a teacher here. I teach uh, film editing at a film school. And I also am a part of a small uh, collective, a filmmaker collective. Uh, we make small pieces called Doku Selfies, that's the name of our collective and the name of the pieces we made. We are waiting to premiere uh, my first uh, short feature film as a director, but we don't know when it's going to be possible. And currently I'm working for, at my feature film. Uh, in the past years I worked as a uh, visual artist, cinematographer and as well director, mostly for documentary films. I've been working as an editor for uh, more than 10 years. Uh, and uh, two years ago, uh, we got the chance to found our own post-production house uh, along with Nancy, uh, my wife. Uh, she, she's an editor too, and she was also an ex-participant of Interaction. Uh, the post-production house is called Jazz Films. Uh, it's uh, based in Cairo. Uh, we work on film, TV, commercials, and documentaries. Uh, we are very delighted to announce that um, our latest work, a uh, uh, feature film called uh, 200 Meters, uh, was uh, officially selected in Venice Days in Venice International Film Festival. Uh, the world premiere would be this September, so finger crossed, and uh, we hope to hear good news. In Romania, there is an average of 10 or maximum 15 films made in documentary. There is an increased interest in them. Uh, the National Film Fund um, offers funds for documentary filmmaking and most of them are co-productions. Documentary, I would say it's in a crisis at the moment in Egypt. Uh, we don't have uh, an industry for documentaries, we, we had uh, the National Film Center back in the 60s, 70s, 80s. They produced the best, the best documentaries ever made in Egypt uh, because the Ministry of Culture was funding. Uh, now they still produce some documentaries, but not as frequent. And um, obviously the government doesn't want to flush money on something that's not gaining any profits. Uh, we have the same crisis in in, um, in the film industry, in feature films. Uh, it's depending on uh, producers with connections and the other part is the commercial market. Uh, I would say we produce 10 films per year. Um, Everyone is moving uh, towards TV since this is the new medium and it's uh, they get their money back uh, fast uh, from the commercials. So unfortunately, filmmaking, uh, documentary filmmaking is not as quite as good as before. Costa Rica is a small country and we have a small film industry. Um, but documentary has always been an important part in our film industry. Um, there's a lot of filmmakers, especially in the last decade, uh, focusing more and more on documentaries. Since 2014, we have a state fund, especially they carry to film, that was very important. We still don't have a film law, so that complicates things. But we have been having a small boom in our industry, so that's really good. We have people that studied abroad and came back, and we're making more diverse uh, documentaries and more diverse stories. So our industry is catching up with other industries and we're starting to, well, making more films. Education-wise, um, there is no film school focusing solely on documentary. We have a private film school. We have a small academies also. Um, there is no state film school, so that 
also complicates things. But a lot of people study abroad and come back. Uh, people that study documentary and come back. So that's good. And you have people like me that study abroad and then came back and start focusing on documentaries. Students in Romania are more and more passionate about documentary filmmaking. There is actually a whole master program dedicated to documentary um, that is studied in Cluj, Transylvania at the University of Apis Boyai, where I also graduated as a master. There is a huge interest obviously in documentary filmmaking. Uh, people love to watch a good documentary, especially if it's, uh, it's, if it's about a story that everybody could relate um, because documentary is something true, something that you could believe, it's something that goes to your heart fast. Uh, they teach us uh, uh, at the Academy of Arts uh, documentary filmmaking uh, and I remember when I was in the Film Institute in Cairo, uh, we had to produce in the third grade uh, a documentary film. Uh, actually, I did uh, two documentaries in the Film Institute, um, and it's something that uh, that we have to do in order to uh, to graduate. The audience is also more and more interested on documentary filmmaking and um, they want to watch more documentary films and they attend most of them festivals that are dedicated to specific countries, topics um, or cultures. Um, unfortunately most of them are distributed only in cinemas and now uh, the VOD platforms are becoming more popular especially due uh, to Covid so documentaries are becoming more and more accessible. Documentaries um, in Egypt are not a seller. Uh, it's harder to distribute. It's, uh, you, you don't have this variety of audience uh, that would want uh, your package uh, if we're talking commercial. Uh, before uh, movie theaters were screening documentaries uh, before the main feature, uh, it doesn't happen anymore. Um, even there were some TV channels uh, that wanted to uh, to screen documentaries in certain programs. Uh, I would say ten years ago, and it was a big market. It's not anymore. Um, everything is moving towards TV and commercials, so there is no room for documentary, even feature films. Uh, the market is decreasing gradually. People in Costa Rica don't get to see too much of Costa Rica documentaries. We have a very good uh, film festival, I invite you to apply. Um, and that's the chance to people to see documentaries made in Costa Rica. But we don't have a really good channels uh, for distribution, so that's a shame. But people, I think people is eager to hear stories from their own country. That's good because it's really important to people to discover. They, they, I don't think people or artists in Costa Rica does, it's not that they don't like, is they don't get the chance to see that much. But when they see themselves in films, I think it's a really good experience. So there is that small thing that Costa Rica has still to figure out a uh, better way to distribute documentary, to create new channels so people can watch new films. Uh, and the other thing is that people don't get the chance to see a lot of different documentaries. That's why the festival is really good because it helps the audience to open their minds. Obviously, the film industry as a whole uh, got affected uh, with this crisis. Um, I was working on a TV program that was uh, airing uh, on a weekly basis. Um, it was stopped. Uh, we had three episodes left. The TV program was stopped. And I remember the last two episodes I was working on because the producer was 
uh, had a had a contract. Uh, we were we were working. Uh, we were all working Triton, and the film crew didn't want to go, and it was it was a mess. Um, it was a sad mess, and uh, everything actually got affected. Not not only the film industry, everything. Um, the cinemas were closed. Uh, the production, many productions, uh, were cancelled. Uh, even you know we have the season of Ramadan, which is the high season. Uh, many TV, pro- many TV series and TV program were cancelled. Uh, due to this pandemic, um, now it's it started to move again. Um, but we we all have to be very careful because because in in, in this industry um, on the film set there are so many people and so many people working together. Uh, so everyone should be. Uh, very careful, um, not just for himself, but for his colleague who has a family, and um, we all have to take care. Due to the pandemic, all events have been cancelled, especially the funding, and uh, we didn't have any support for the moment. I know some of the productions postponed for next year, and some of them are trying to roll the cameras in the autumn. In the uh, in the past five months, we didn't have any uh, cinema, but now I think uh, because of the summer uh, season, they're gonna open some drive-ins and uh, some festivals are organizing their events, uh, limited to 500 uh, participants in uh, open spaces. The government didn't apply any, you know, help or found or something to help independent filmmakers. Um, the, obviously, the shooting stops. Um, now they start to picking up uh, all the protocols and everything, but not because the government is helping, it's because the people are organizing themselves, the film industry is organizing themselves. How to help themselves, how to figure out how to shoot, how to shoot, uh, what the best protocols. So, but that was also important because it made the it made the community stronger, our film community stronger, and people start working together to figure out what to do. But yes, um, we didn't get any help from government. But you know, the students are starting to pick up slowly. People still having projects. People start developing. So that didn't stop us. Uh, nothing will stop a film in Costa Rica. It's been it's tough to uh, to make films here, and. But we always knew that, so we keep fighting. Interaction for me was a really big part of my formation as a filmmaker. I got to meet people from around the world. I got to meet a place that otherwise I'll never, you know, visit it will be really hard. Um, and I'm still in touch with the, the friends I made in, in interaction especially my crew the the one i make the film with uh, it opened up my mind and that's, that was really important and also made me realize that a lot of us love documentaries and that we're not different that we're just people from different countries but we came together we make a film we make it happen and i, I still treasure that really 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 um, every time someone asks me you know, how do you get to Serbia or every time I got to tell my story, how did I get to interaction? I always encourage people, you know, if you're a film student, I tell my film students also, you can apply to this, you can go to this, you can be part of that and you can learn as much as I learn and still carry with me. I was very lucky to uh, participate twice in interaction, once as a student and the second time as an alumni. Uh, this place is special because it's not only uh, about making good network and uh, meeting good people and uh, and producing a nice film in two weeks. It's about teaching you that everything is doable. You know, in two weeks you get 
uh, you get to have the idea and uh, you, you, you make the outline and you go shoot and you make the edit and you make the sound mix and you produce a good film and Interaction has produced very good films. Uh, so life is not complicated and, uh, and producing a documentary is not something uh, that should take years, you know. Um, so it's not only about making a good network, it's, uh, this is a very important part, but um, the second part is that you, you have very good teachers and you know, you have very passionate teachers and tutors. Uh, I remember Professor Elchich. This guy is very passionate, the way he talks, the way he moves, the way his body shapes when he's giving you instructions. Uh, although he doesn't speak, he speak, he doesn't speak English, so he has the translator, but you know, I love to listen to him uh, speaking Serbian, uh, b- because I get the message, I get how he's passionate. Um, I remember uh, another professor uh, who teached me in graduate school, Professor Robert Kasser. Uh, he was the same. He was very passionate. And these guys, whenever I I lose the passion, whenever I go uh, commercial, I go mechanical, I remember these guys. And they, re- they are my reminder that you do what you love. You should be passionate about what you're doing. Um, once you love what you do, it would, it would love, it would love you eventually. My participation in interaction was a special one. Our team was, was very close. We became friends, and we also planned to further collaborate. The sample that I presented uh, from the film got selected at Talent Sarajevo and brought me to uh, to Sarajevo last year at the festival as cinematographer, which also brought to many other projects, especially in documentary filmmaking. In the past year, I, was, I shot in Cyprus uh, documentary and uh, we're planning to go to Belgium and as well Pakistan. <laughs>